All right, well, Temecula is known for its collection of fabulous vineyards, but uh, there's plenty of good golf to go with the wine, too. We went to check out Temecula Creek Golf Club and play the sixth hole on the Stonehouse course with a little bit of help from the pro. Hi, welcome to Temecula Creek Golf Club. My name is Peter Winninger. I'm the director of golf. We're here at the resort, a 27-hole uh, resort, and we found our signature hole, which is Stonehouse number six, a lengthy par four with an elevated tee shot. Uh, with a also a downhill second shot. What makes it our signature hole is a couple things. One is not only the views of the mountains and the oak groves that we have around here, but the views of the Temecula Valley right behind us as well. When you're here on the tee, looking down at the hole, you see a, slope, a grass slope on the left-hand side that's sloping towards the fairway. You also see a large fairway bunker on the right-hand side. There's a tall sycamore tree that's on that slope on the left-hand side that's a great aiming point. So if I do hit my target, it'll fall right on the slope ball will land and roll to the middle of the fairway. So here we go. All right, let's go see where they landed. Here we are, we found the middle of the fairway, which is good. So I was able to hit my target line over the sycamore tree. It hit the grass slope and, and rolled right to the middle. So the shot may look easier than what it actually is. A couple things that are difficult. One, this is the smallest screen we have on property. Okay, uh, number two is that it is sitting in the middle of an oak grove, so there's really no room for error anywhere. Another thing too is that there's a pot bunker that's middle left that you do not want to get into. But the most challenging thing here is the wind. Oftentimes we have a southwest hurting wind into us at this point. So the most important thing with this shot is really aiming towards the middle of the green, being confident in your club selection, and swinging. So here we go. Always club twirl, no matter what. All right, we've made it. We made it safely on the green here. So the last thing that makes this hole the number one handicap hole in the entire course is the green. Again, this is the smallest green we have on property, and also the undulation. So what I've left myself here is a 30-foot uphill putt for birdie. So the goal again is to get it to make it, but also to get it close enough just for a tap in par. What do they say? Even a blind squirrel finds a nut every once in a while. Thank you so much for coming out, hanging out with us. We'll see you soon. Hopefully you can birdie the soul too.